Hey friends, it's Tammy with Rustic Orchard Home, where we inspire you to paint, create, and decorate a beautiful home. So, <clears throat> I'm coming to y'all today, and I'm going to show you another option, or another idea, that you can use the buffalo plaid. Remember, um, last week we did the buffalo plaid, and when I did it, when I did my board, I used um, fall on one side and then we're going to do Christmas today on the other side. So it'll be flip, you will be able to use it for fall and then just flip it for, um, for the Christmas season. Okay. So we did, okay. So y'all saw this, I posted this. So it's kind of hard because the board's so tall. So remember we did the, the Buffalo plaid on our live. Hi Angie. And then I added the um, stacked pumpkins. Hey Sharon. And on the pumpkins, we used um, terracotta, buttercream, and duck egg. And then I went over them with a pearlescent glaze um, because a lot of the hybrid pumpkins have almost looks like a white sheen kind of over the top of them. And so that's what I did for that one. But today, I went ahead and did the buffalo plaid on the other side. So it's all carried over. I matched everything up so it's kind of carried over. Hi, Julie. Um, and so, y'all, I'm doing paint today. And we will be giving away another 8-ounce thing of paint if y'all like and share Dixie Bell's page and my page. If you've already shared and, I mean, if you've already liked it, just share and let me know that you did. And after it is done, I will, um, actually Dixie Bell will go through and pick a winner. So, but you have to like their page and mine. So today, we're going to do um, a, a Santa face kind of. Um, my mom and I used to paint Santa faces on everything. Y'all know how much I love spindles and all of that stuff. That's kind of, hey, Lynn, you caught me. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to let y'all, can you see? Remember, if you can't see because of the comments, swipe the comments. Hi, Pam, out of the way, and then you'll be able to see me, okay? And so I am using Barn Red for the hat. I haven't opened it yet, so bear with me. But I'm just going to get started. So, remember, we've already done the buffalo plaid. And so now I have my fall board, which I will put back out until fall. And then I'll flip it around um, for Christmas because I got some um, buffalo plaid shared and liked. Because you rock, Sharon. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I got some black and white buffalo plaid pillows for my black rockers. So, of course, now I have to do the front porch with buffalo plaid, right? <laughs> and normally, you know, normally I do, like, traditional uh, colors and stuff on my porch. And then um, for my inside, I do gold and silver and all of that. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do because I actually have enough stuff to do, like, a um, chalkboardy buffalo print tree as well and my house is too small to do both um in my other house i used to put up five christmas trees um but i don't have that space anymore <laughs> so how cute oh how good i'm glad you're gonna like it hi allison okay so remember like dixie bell's page like our page, and um, you will be entered to win a eight ounce jar of Dixie Bell paint. So don't forget that. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm just using a little artist brush, and you know, I always tell y'all kind of wet your brush first because you don't want to dip it in dry. And I'm gonna start on the hat. Can y'all see me? Sure everybody can see me. You love Dixie Bell? I do too. Okay. And so I, I already kind of drew it out so that um, it wouldn't take forever because 
I didn't want y'all to have to sit and watch me draw it too. So I'm painting the hat and I'm using the barn red um, for his little hat. And so this is gonna take a little bit, but y'all need to stay with me so that you can be entered in the drawing. So we're just doing barn red, and like I've told y'all before, the the um, Dixieville paint coverage is amazing, amazing, and we're using. Ouch, we're using it because a because we can. You can use it on furniture or your cap crafts and stuff like that, but it dries fast, so you can just kind of move on to your next thing, which is what I love. And when I, I kind of um, sketched the little Santa face out. You need to try Dixie Bell? You do. Susan, you would love it, seriously. Um, I kind of sketched it out and I just used chalk. So I just kind of chalked it on there so it won't hurt if I um, go over it with my paint because I'm, um, hello, it's chalk paint, going over chalk, right? And I guess I could have probably painted some of his hat already because it is a pretty big spot. But y'all can watch and see the whole project and just get an idea of all the different things that you can do with it. It's not just for furniture. It's not just for um, cabinets. You can totally use it for decorative stuff too. And I know I say this every time, but it's so true. I don't have room for a bunch of different paints. And because the coverage on here is amazing and um, because they have so many great colors. And I can use it on my furniture too, because you know, I do paint furniture some. Y'all have seen me paint some stuff. And if I want to um, paint a piece of furniture and then have a piece of home decor that coordinates with it, hey Maddie, um, it's perfect because you can kind of coordinate your colors. It doesn't all have to be matchy-matchy, but at least your colors will kind of all Go. So I'm going to have to get my smaller brush here. Stick that in there. So I buy, there's, um, I want to say I did a link on my page once before. I buy just a package of um, artist brush and there's like a variety in them and I use the snot out of them. You wish you could. 40 minutes away is your closest retailer. Um, yeah, I highly recommend y'all to find a retailer near you if you can just because they're so knowledgeable in all of the Dixieville products. Um, but if you can't, you can always, you know, get it online. Okay, so I'm going to a little bit smaller brush because I kind of curled his hat around and I need to be able to not worry about going outside of the area that I had drawn. And one coat is going to totally cover it. So we won't even have to worry about coming back again on it, which is amazing. And you just have to be careful because we've already got the buffalo plaid. And now, y'all, I did it like this because I kind of drew it out wanting to make sure that it fit. But you can always do like we did with the pumpkins and paint the buffalo plaid and then paint your thing. You don't have to pencil it out like that. You can pencil it later. The water bottle, Mr. Allison, don't you love it? Do you have one? 
If you don't, you need to get one. Um, Cause it's the bomb.com. I really, really, really like it. I actually bought another one because I like it so much. Cause I'm one of those people. Are you one of those people <laughs> that um, if you like something, you always have like more than one of them. Like shirts, if there's a shirt that I like and it comes in other colors, I always get both colors. <laughs> just I'm a creature of habit for sure okay as soon as I get done base coating this I'll show you what I've got a little bit closer because I know y'all probably having a little bit hard time seeing it are you with me Where did I get the water bottle? They do have them on Amazon. Um, I've shared the link a couple of times, but I can share it again when we get done. Um, so let me show y'all. I don't know if you can see. Okay, so there's his little hat. Now, I know it looks like it just stopped, but I'm gonna do a, a puffy little ball right here in white, but we're gonna let this dry. So there's the hat and then See how I kind of have the face chalked in? Okay. So I just saw um, a Santa face that I liked in a picture and just um, kind of traced it out with my chalk. Literally, like children's chalk, it's yellow. <laughs> um, I had the colored chalk and just kind of chalked it out. Um, how I wanted it okay so for his um, face like his cheeks and nose area I'm using apricot and I may have to go in with a little bit of red to kind of um, rosy his cheeks up a little bit okay So hopefully the apricot will show up enough, um, in, you know, a flesh color. Cause I'm super pale. So the apricot's perfect skin tone for me. Yes, I did what, Allison? I guess I missed it. Um, if y'all are just joining, we're doing the other side of the stacked pumpkins. If you like Dixie Belle's page and like our page, at the end of this, there'll be a drawing for a eight ounce jar of Dixie Belle paint. Um, so you have to like our page and Dixie Belle's page and share and just put in the comments that you shared. Cause if you don't put that, we don't know that you shared. You're pale too, yeah. And especially this time of year, whoo, starting to get, starting to get real pale. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna just kind of put the lid on the red and I'll come back to it. Can y'all see okay? I don't have the, the things in the way shared. Thank you, Christine. Um, and I, uh, I'm just using what's in the lid for right now. And I'm just gonna kind of do his little nose. And I kind of need a little bit. Let's see. I need to make it kind of rosy. So I can see the definition because we're filling in all of this part right here 
but I want to keep my um, the little bit of definition on it. So let's see. Okay, I did get a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of do this. And remember, we can always go back if it's too red. So what I did was I put the corner of my brush in that red. And I still have some of that peach on there. So basically, I just kind of um, outlined his little nose so that when I go to do the rest of his, see how I just did that? We'll go over it again, but that's to keep that definition because I'm getting ready to do all the rest of this peach. Um, and I want to be able to find where I had my nose, where the, where the center of his nose was, so I don't have to just guess. Does that make sense? Okay. So I had laid out his um, little handlebar mustache. And so I'm just kind of going around where I um, drew that out. And again, I just used chalk and just kind of chalked it out so that it didn't take quite as long live because it is going to take a little bit of time anyways. And I don't, you know how I am. I don't like for y'all to get bored. Um, but I like to be able to show you all of the details. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Shared with your BFF. Thank you. Is it Mert? My eyes are awful, so I can't quite see. But thank you, I appreciate y'all. Y'all don't know how much it means to us for you to share. Um, it really does help our page. It helps get more people to us so that they can share and join in some of these fun projects. And remember, our virtual paint party is Sunday the, is it the 14th? Is the 14th on a Sunday, October 14th at four o'clock. And we're gonna be doing the pumpkin. I still don't know what word I'm gonna use, but that's what, can you see the shimmer? The gold metallic? Um, that's what we're gonna do for the virtual paint party on the, I think it's the 14th. If the 14th is a Sunday, y'all let me know <laughs> because I think that's what it was. And that will be for the pumpkin. And then we will probably, yeah, we will do a Christmas one. I'm not sure what yet, but I know um, Dixie Bell actually wants to join in on that one. And so we'll have some fun stuff going on with that. Where do you get the pumpkin? Get the pumpkin at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think I've announced it several times for y'all to kind of be ready and, and, and look for them. Um, so hopefully your still has it. Your little Hobby Lobby still has it. But Hobby Lobby, and it's just the blank. I don't know where, I have another blank one somewhere. Um, it's the blanks. You're camping? Aw, can it, is anybody else having trouble hearing me? Hopefully that's not my connection because it could very well be my connection. Okay, so right now we're just painting the area that his cheeks will be at. We outlined um, where the little mustache will be and I'll do all of the white you know, all at the same time. So right now I'm just kind of um, filling in with my small, a little artist brush, getting her all around all the little nooks and crannies. So it's a lot easier to use a smaller brush and then go back and smooth it out some. There, if there's no Hobby Lobby, check at Michael's. And then if all else fails, build across has pumpkin door hangers and it doesn't have to look exactly like ours 
as long as it's a you know a larger pumpkin door hanger um and on there i know i've had a couple of people ask what size artist brush and it really just depends on how what you prefer you haven't been to hobby lobby for a while you have to drive i know my nearest hobby lobby is an hour away so i i feel you <laughs> i feel you um but uh what was i saying oh size brush just whatever you feel it's it's a large circle so i want to say i used the three-fourths flat this one's actually an angled one but i used a three-fourths flat um because you just make a circle with it and if you want to you can actually finger paint it so either way works if you don't have a brush we can we can just use your finger to make the um circles i prefer the larger circles i um i actually did it with the smaller ones and sanded it off and redid it because i didn't like it as well so see y'all i don't do it all perfect every time either um, but that's the beauty of uh, chalk paint. It sands off beautifully. <laughs> and um, I just sanded it down and redid it. Okay. So we'll go in and highlight cheeks. But I want to go ahead and get my... Um, oh, there's still... I got to do his, his lips and tongue. You were eating tacos? That sounds so good. You saw us do the live? And it's freehand. It's not your crisp, straight buffalo check. It's freehand. It's a little freer. Um, a little more kind of rustic looking, which buffalo check is anyway. So, I actually kind of like it. My husband was shocked because he's like, you did that? And I was like, yeah, why? And he's like, it's not straight and crisp. You're like so, you know. And I said, I actually kind of like it. I like it not being super crisp kind of free <laughs> okay y'all stay with me if i have a hard time concentrating and then talking hey sarah um concentrating on staying in the lines <laughs> now i'm gonna go in and kind of mix this pink and um peach because you know usually it's kind of like his tongue and then the outline of his lip so i'm gonna make it kind of rosy And I just put the very corner of um, my paintbrush in the red. So it's very, very subtle. Um, I need to, I'll show y'all here in just a second. So one corner in the red, the other corner in the peach, okay. And now I'm kind of mixing it in because I don't I don't want it super pink. Um, I want it more kind of peachy. You all with me? Okay. I'm going to show you this up close. Of course, you won't get the full effect until we get it all together. But so, basically, it's kind of like his mouth is open and then his lips. Does that make sense? Okay. And then we're still going to go in and highlight his little cheeks. When do you take down fall decor to put up Christmas? Well, you see, because of what I do... I actually have to put my stuff up a lot earlier, but in the past, before I started doing all of this, I'm a fall girl. So I didn't put up Christmas until the day after Thanksgiving or the day of Thanksgiving because I love fall. But 
when did I put my fall stuff up? Mm, September 1st or before. <laughs> what size board? It's a, oh, it's actually like a one by 10, but they're more like a one by nine, if that makes sense. Um, or you could use a little bit bigger. It's just totally up to you. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Now let's see. I'm gonna do, I'll have to get these colors back out, I'm sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the white going so that it can kind of be drying. <laughs> and then we'll go back in and kind of rosy up his cheeks. And it, I mean, it's taken a little bit longer just because I'm talking and stuff. So it really doesn't take that long once you get it drawn out. The drawing it out is probably the, the hardest part. And I'm using cotton because cotton is what we used for the buffalo plaid. If y'all remember, we used cotton and caviar. And we combined cotton and caviar to get the gray. You base coated it with the cotton, got the gray stripe, and then did the caviar in the, um, to deepen it, to do the buffalo plaid um, part of it. And so um, I tried to not use a whole bunch of colors, but the again, the beauty of it is, how long is the board? Um, well, let me tell you. I will tell you how long the board is, Cindy. <laughs> it is th three feet, 36 inches. But you can do it four feet. You know, it, it's totally up to you. If you want a big, tall one, um, the one that Donna did when we did our live, hers was six foot. She did a big one. This one I put on my little table. Y'all saw I posted it um, on the page. I'm trying to find, I had a different brush. I guess I'll just use this one. One of these days I'll get my life together, I promise. No, I probably won't. <laughs> so if y'all are liking this so far, throw me some hearts or thumbs up, let me know. And if you have any questions, be sure and let me know. You like the proportions of it? So it's like three foot by, it's a, it's a one by 10, but it really measures like one by nine. Oh, yay. Okay, so y'all are still here. You're still with me. Okay, so now I'm just doing, um, you know, the, the fluffy part of the little Santa hat. So this is the cotton again. And like I said, I'm just trying to use the paints that we've already used so that you don't have to buy a whole bunch just to do the project and then once you have them on hand you have them you can do a furniture piece or whatever um, if you are doing furniture you will want at least the 16 ounce um, if you're doing cabinets obviously you'll want that big honkin one um, I want to say it's like 36 ounces or whatever but generally when I buy paints I get the 8 ounce because it goes so far the coverage is so good and I generally will just um, do my home decor. And if I'm doing a, a larger piece, then I'll order the bigger one. But then at least you have it and you have all of the colors that you need. And you can use them for everything. You're late, but you love it. I have to get some paint yes you do you'll love it you really will and I mean I know y'all know this and I don't have to say it every time but I, I, I do um, I would not promote something that I didn't absolutely believe in um, and I really do like it I have not always been a Dixie Belle um, paint user but when I started using it once I got adjusted to it being a little different than the, the brand that I used before, I actually like it a lot better, surprisingly. Um, and I, I really believe that you will too, I do. So I put my link in the top, but if you have a retailer near you, I highly recommend you go and visit with them because they have all the knowledge um, 
and can show you, you know, they'll have, can y'all see those? Yeah, you can see. They have all the spoons and all the colors so you can actually see, you know, up close. Let's see, which, what is this? This is lemonade. So you can like look at it, see it, feel it, touch it, compare it to whatever, you know, a color that you're trying to get. So they'll have all of those, especially if they're a premier retailer. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> um, and they can help you. Are y'all hanging with me? Oh, I lost a few of you. I hate it when I lose y'all. I know it's Friday night and everyone's probably trying to go out to eat. And I'm, I'm a little early, but um, my husband and I are going out to eat later. So he was like, are you going to go live again and wait till the last minute? No, I guess not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think, I think she thinks it's time to eat. What time is it? Oh, it is at five o'clock. She eats at five generally. And I mean, she is Johnny on the spot like, hello, feed me. Um, that's my son's dog. Uh, he just moved into a place and is getting all settled in. And um, she's getting ready to go with him. And I'm going to miss her a lot. I don't know that I'll know what to do. Okay, so I need a smaller brush now because I am going to get his little mustache. And then, of course, we have all this other, too. So I'll need the black to use as a highlight for the white. Are y'all with me? What were the colors you were using for the Santa and the Buffalo plaid? Okay, so we used caviar and cotton for the buffalo plaid. We mixed the caviar and the cotton to get the gray, okay? So we base coated with cotton, mixed the caviar and the white for the gray, and then went in and filled everywhere that your gray crosses. So all the little squares that, that crisscross are black because when you have two layers of something, it's always darker. Um, so that's how you know where you're going to put the black, okay? And then I used the barn red apricot, and that's it. So, see, I try to keep it just a few colors. Just a few colors. Okay, so now I'm going to do the um, mustache. And remember, I have hit it already um, chalked out, so I'm using. I know uh, we ha we have a little um, Australian Shepherd, and when my son's dog couldn't stay at the place that he was at before, um, she's been with us since she was a pup, so it's gonna be hard. And my Australian Shepherd had to get used to her. So she's not going to know what to do now when she leaves us. And I will probably have a harder time than <laughs> the dog will. <laughs> Isn't that always how it goes? Okay, I did a curly mustache. And I probably shouldn't have because it's really detailed. <laughs> but it is cute, so... You can do just a regular straight mustache. You don't have to get all fancy. Fancy pants. She's over here sighing like, hello. I don't know if y'all can hear her or not. You would have a farm for the doggies. Your husband wants to have an animal rescue. Aww. That would be so cool. I love animals, y'all. 
well, I say, I love dogs. And it's not that I don't like cats, but I'm allergic to them. And so they just, they, they don't like me. <laughs> I think that's the fair assessment there. Oh, bye Sharon. I hope y'all will hang with me. I just thought this would be cute for you to see. Um, and then be able to do it two-sided. So you pull it out in the fall and then it stays out um, till Christmas. I love to do two-sided stuff. Multi-purpose, dual purpose. Y'all can see, right? You're still here. Good. Thank you. <laughs> you didn't leave me. And like I said, if, if you're new, just now coming on, um, if you will go and like Dixie Bell's page after this and share and like our page, you will be entered into a drawing for a um, eight ounce Dixie Bell paint. Really? Is that right? <coughs> she likes Dixie Bell too. <laughs> Code enough. And I probably could have used a little bit larger brush on this, but I need the smaller one for the detail up here, and I just didn't want to change brushes. So what are y'all doing tonight? Does anybody have plans? Anybody going out to eat? Just going home and vegging? Hopefully you had a good week. It's Friday. Super cute, thank you. Cute, 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 good. And I probably won't do all the, all the details. I'll finish it up so that y'all don't have to um, see all of those and then I'll take a picture of it. But you, I just wanted you to kind of have an idea of some of the options that you could do because it goes really well with this buffalo plaid. And of course the red and the white just pops off of it. So if you put it on like your front porch, um, if you wanted it for outside, you could see those colors from the road. And you don't have to, I mean, it, you can use it inside too. I think it'd be super cute like leaning up against a fireplace um, or even leaning close to the tree if you, you know, for the, um, the Christmas part of it. And then of course the fall side So you see how, let me show you, I'll show you close up here in just a second so that you can get an idea because remember I got the blackout and I got the blackout so that I could kind of highlight very lightly so we'll, it'll be kind of a whitish gray to highlight around the um, outside here because this is his beard too which is the same color and you want that definition, okay? So you see the mustache and the nose and the, the mouth. And then you see where this right here is. That's going to be part of his beard, you know, coming down. And so we're going to highlight the mustache around this part with the black, um, which will end up being kind of gray. And if you get too much right at first, it's okay because you'll just layer it. You'll just kind of keep going over it and layer it, okay? So if you get too much on the corner of your brush, don't freak out. Just keep going back over it with the white 
so that you get a little bit of a um, highlight a definition on there and I just barely touched it in um, in the black and then I kind of blend it and add a little bit more white and you make sure that you turn it back so that the whites on this side and the blacks on this side and you're just blending it and you're making sure that you add more white to the correct side because I have done that before too and then had it all all gray so I'm taking the corner that had the black on it and kind of outline in this outer edge because I want to see that definition before I put the other on there so that I can tell where my mustache is. Does that make sense? You think you will know the art? Oh, you still have time, Julia? How, what time? I don't even know what time it is in California. y'all can see that see his mustache and see how we've got that dark on the edge outer edge so now when I put the white for the beard on there you'll be able to still see the mustache does that make sense it's 310 oh and it's like 510 here so yeah you still have plenty of time don't you it's starting to get a dark a little bit earlier but not not quite like it does in you know in the fall okay so I'm doing the same thing on this side before I start in with the white for his beard I'm highlighting the edge of his mustache so that there is definition between the two of them so that I don't totally lose the mustache in with the beard. Ten foot, Lynn? What's ten foot? My board's three foot. Um, Donna, when we did the Buffalo Plaid live, hers was six foot. Um, and then I did the smaller one. Okay. So I'll go back in after um, and fill that in a little bit better. But I wanted to show y'all the beard. And get you an idea of kind of the finished... Um, I'm just going to use this bigger brush <laughs> and my Mr. Bottle that I love. Okay, remember I still had some black on there? I'm doing a little bit on the um, hat too. Just, and I, I'll go back over and cover it up, but I don't want to cross those whites, if that makes sense. I want to be able to see where I'm putting it. You shared, Pam, thank you. 
So this is still going to be his beard. And of course it's a square board, so you... And then I'll go in with this and kind of um, feather it out some, you know, kind of feather his beard. But this will give you an idea. And then I'll take pictures for y'all. It's going to be so cute. And remember, it's reversible, so we'll leave it out. And we used the same color buffalo plaid. And on the pumpkins, we used the buttercream, the duck egg blue, and the terracotta for the pumpkins. And then of course the brown for the stem. But we already had that because we used those colors for some of our other pumpkins. So I'm trying to kind of tie in what we have because you want to get a good amount of um, paints built up, but I know you can't all, you can't all buy them all at one time. At least I can't. I don't know about y'all. If y'all can, whoo, more power to you. <laughs> And I probably should have sanded the board first, but I got a little over um, excited just kind of drawing it out to see if it would even work. Um, and then I had it drawn out and I knew if I were to sand it, my chalk would totally disappear. Your first time watching? Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you will um, like our page and like the um, Dixie Bell Paint Company page and then share this video, you'll be entered to win um, an eight ounce Dixie Bell paint. So one person will win it if they've shared and liked both pages. Now I need a smaller brush. I'm almost to a point where I can show y'all um, what I got. Oh, I got to paint the little ball on his little um, hat. And then the rest will just be, you know, kind of highlighting it and um, getting a little bit more definition. And then I'll get a, a closer photo. Okay. So, you see the end of the hat here? Can y'all see that okay? Thank you, Pam. And so, I'm just going to do a circle. I like that. I like those big, fluffy, big, fluffy circles. It looks like a, almost looks like a big old cotton ball. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do it to where it kind of comes in on his little And you just kind of play with it. Get your circle. How you want it. 
So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of highlight his beard. Okay, you see the ball on the hat? Okay, I'll highlight the hat some. And then I'll highlight his beard. And then I'll fill in and kind of make some little cheeks right by his little nose. Kind of rosy his little cheeks up. Um, and just fill it in like that. So that's kind of the gist of it. See, y'all see <laughs> um, how he turned out. Just kind of draw it out on there however you like it. I looked at a picture of a Santa photo and then I'll put it back out for fall and then as soon as I get ready to switch for Christmas, then I'll just switch it and it'll go on the same spot. But we use the buffalo plaid and so now you have a two-sided little um, Santa face. And I think it's super cute. And if you wanted to, you could even just do like some polka dots on his little hat or you could leave it solid or you could, um, you could even glitter it if you wanted to. Put some Mod Podge on there and put some glitter on it. That would be super cute. Or it would be super cute for the, um, the hat band and the ball to be like white glitter. And that might be something that I could do too. Hey, April. Um, so I'll go in and highlight this a little bit more. And I'll be sure and post pictures. But y'all see, you know, like I said, two-sided. Love it for fall. Now we have Christmas. And um, you don't have to worry about switching it out and putting stuff away and all of that fun stuff. But I thought that I would show that to y'all and show you um, just how versatile the buffalo check can be. It can go with everything. Thank you. Um, it, uh, it can go with everything. You can make it kind of elegant and you can make it kind of rustic and whimsical all at however you want it'll fit just about every this is a great idea thank you what do you spray on oh it the I always wet my brushes before I dip them in paint so that it doesn't soak up the paint it has something to kind of um, water the paint a little bit and so I just use a mister bottle and it literally is a mist it's just a really fine mist, and I love it. Um, but I put the Dixie Belle link, so if y'all want the colors, you can go back through. Like I said, I used Barn Red, um, Cotton, Caviar, and Apricot for his little face. And that's it. Just those, those colors did this whole thing, okay? So you just use the colors that you have to, to do your highlighting and, and it's totally, you just joined, how cute. You'll have to watch the replay to see how I did it. Yes, Dorla, for sure. Or call me. <laughs> um, or I'll see you next week, right? <laughs> anyway, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. Be sure and like Dixie Bell page, like our page, and share this for a chance to win. You'll, your name will be put in a drawing if you tell me that you shared for an 8-ounce um, jar of Dixie Bell paint. And I'm sure I will be back soon. And don't forget our virtual paint party for the pumpkin. You get your pumpkin at either um, Hobby Lobby or Build Across. And it is on the 14th at 4 o'clock. I believe it's the 14th. The 14th is Sunday. That's when it is. And it's at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and we'll do that all together. Invite your girlfriends or whatever and do it on there. And I put the supply list in on the page. And I'll probably do another supply list because somebody couldn't find it um, earlier. And so I want to make sure that y'all see it and can do it. But the most important part, obviously, is getting all of your supplies at this point. And then we'll do another one for Christmas. So I hope y'all had fun. I hope y'all had an awesome week and have a wonderful weekend. This is Tammy with Rustic Orchard Home, where we inspire you to paint, create, and decorate a beautiful home. Bye, y'all. Have a great night. <laughs>